Except Steven because he's gay? Is that what I'm being told or, or, or what's going on here? Okay, so getting back issues. Here's one of the things I hate about Genshin. Feel free to add to the list of comments. Paimon's baby and constant recapping. True. When I tell you she's the best dress Hoyo character. Okay. And then his comment here is, Within less than a week, I've been called a, both a Hoyoverse hater who should uninstall the game to a Hoyoverse lying CC who's paid to say everything is great. Maybe I just have a healthy relationship with the game and express both things I like and dislike. Also, I'd like to be transparent and state I am in the Hoyoverse CC program. I can't say what's in my contract due to NDA, but I'm allowed to not like characters and express negative opinions. And if Hoyoverse ever tried to stop me from doing that, I'd just terminate the contract. Yes, King. Yes. Yeah, so here's the thing. There's this word called nuance. And a lot of people don't seem to understand it. Unfortunately, if you like the game slightly, it's because you're a Hoyo shill. If you don't like the game a little bit, then you're a rage baiter, right? So the, the problem is, is that everybody wants to put you in a box, Right, And the reason why gimmicks of being overly positive or overly negative really, you know, overly negative, overly positive work is because it's easier to understand, oh, okay, this is the positive guy, right? So like, for example, you know, like me and Doro, the duality of Hoyoverse, for a while, I was the overly negative guy. And for a while, Doro was the overly positive guy, right? And so he was the Hoyo shill and I was the rage baiter. Unfortunately, I've grown up a lot. I've done a lot of therapy and now I have a lot more nuance uh, on takes and now people don't really know how to feel about me anymore. And so now they just hold on to the image of me that they remember. Same thing with Doro. Doro's had a spiritual awakening later and now instead of enjoying vanilla ice cream, now he enjoys Neapolitan, right? So now he has a little taste of everything. Now the problem is, is that now everybody's just confused and now nobody know what to think, right? Now, now nobody know what to fucking think. And by therapy, I mean I had two conversations with Asmongold and that put me on the right path, right? So now nobody know what to think. And they say, well, fuck, we want to put these content credits in a box. Why can't we put you in a box? So now we're at the point where if you ever say anything positive about one game, they think you're a shill. If you say anything negative, they say you're rage baiting, right? And right now it's the same thing with Genshin because people don't know how to feel about the way I feel because it's not one dimensional. And what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? People can't process the fact that me and many other people see the glaring issues with Genshin Impact and will still play the game very casually. So like, for example, I don't enjoy Genshin Impact. That's why I'm not actively promoting it to my audience. That's why I'm not playing it on stream. And when I do play it, it's only during the major events. And I do that as a way to supplement their gameplay. That way they don't have to go back unless it's worthwhile. That's why I'm going back for 4.7 to the Archon Quest. That way, if you're only playing for the story, hey, you don't have to. I got you, Ram. I got you because the less that you guys play, the less likely you are to spend. And the same thing for 5.0. When Natlin comes out, we'll check it out. We'll catch some Pokemon. Hey, we'll we'll breed a little bit. You know, we'll 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 breed who uh, you a little bit. We'll have some Pokemon. It'll be great. We'll have a national fucking fan Friday in Sumer or fucking Natlin. It'll be great, right? But people think if you don't like Genshin, then you can't play Genshin, right? But that's just not how it goes. Genshin has never been a game that's been designed to be played more than two hours every six weeks. That's just how it goes. And the other thing is, people think that if you like Wuthering Waves, then you won't play Genshin. Now, it would be very nice if people want a direct answer from me and want direct answers from other people. If you play Wuthering Waves and you can't play Genshin, well, that's just not true, okay? Because gacha games are very low maintenance. You play them for five to ten minutes every day. You get all your dailies done. You're playing perfectly. You log the fuck off. Right? I'll, I'll be real. I mean, I, I've done my test. It takes me seven minutes to do my dailies in Wuthering Waves. And that will only get quicker the stronger I become. And that's that's just the truth. The stronger I am, the quicker I can clear the content. Okay? But the problem is people think that if you play Wuwa, you can't play Genshin. And if you play Genshin, then you won't like Honkai Star Rail because why would you like turn-based combat when you like open-world RPG fast-paced combat? It's because people have fucking layers. People don't understand that, but nuance is a nuance is a concept that is lost on the majority of people. It's the same thing like sarcasm. Sarcasm is also very lost in the Genshin. They don't understand jokes, and intentions are also things that are lost on the community. Now, in my opinion, here's a great one: being racist, 
makes you racist, okay? Saying, I don't want to include this group of humanity in my group because they're this race, that's race. Making a racist joke with a kind intent is not racist, right? So like, for example, if one of my homies comes up to me and says, yo, you want some mayonnaise, Whitey? Well, if they're my homie, I know they're not racist and they're just making a fucking joke, right? Because there's these things that people don't understand that you can say things, you can say things and not mean them. And there's also this thing called shock value where sometimes you can say shit that you don't mean, obviously, to shock people, right? It's a very normal thing. Okay, that is the nuance, and hopefully that makes it a little bit more easier to understand with that extreme example, because I feel like explaining things in extremes uh, is a lot easier to break them down and apply them to day-to-day -day life, right? I like this new one. I'll, I, oh, wait. I like this new once. I'm going to use it. There you go. And this will probably become another flavor of the month term that the gotcha gaming subreddit likes to use. Uh, I, I believe another one they were previously using was a disingenuous. Where can I sign up for Asmund therapy? Twitch.tv forward slash tech tone, man. I will give to you all of the knowledge that I've learned from the great bald one. Okay. You're a gotcha game. I get on YouTube, watch my daily eight to 10 minute video of you upload and I'm off. Well, here's why you're wrong. I upload like four videos every fucking day, right? Shut up. Mayo boy. <laughs> okay. That's just ridiculous. Okay, because here's the thing, man. I don't fuck with you like that. You got to understand that making jokes to people you don't know versus making jokes versus people you don't know is different. And that's the nuance. You see what I'm saying? Hopefully, hopefully you get it. Hopefully you get it. And that's the subtle difference. Everything wants to be put into a box. Uh, does that make sense to you guys? Do you guys get that? Do you have any questions on how that works? If I call you mayo boy, but put a funny emote at the end of the message, does that make it okay? Here's one thing that you guys need to understand, okay? Texting people is a dangerous game because your inflections and your intentions can be lost in translation, okay? And that can even also happen if you are lowly developed socially. So what I mean by that is, uh, I believe that emojis and emoticons are required to have complete human like to be completely uh, effective in text manners, right? People say that using emojis is childish, but if you don't use emotes, the people aren't going to know how you're intending that message to be, right? So I think everybody should be using emotes in your fucking messages, like smiley face, you're being kind, angry face isn't really necessary. Just put a fucking period, put a kitty face. If you're being playful shit like that, that's what I think, because otherwise how the fuck am I to know what your intention is? It's kind of the same issue that happened between uh, Sane Tone and Brand Online, right? So Sane Tone said one thing one way. Brand didn't understand how he meant it. Intentions were lost. Sayu got pissed. Brand got pissed. Mujin got pissed. Hexjuice got pissed. Sane Tone got pissed. All because intentions are lost, right? But people are very quick to make you out to be a one-dimensional person. And that often can happen a lot. But uh, that's why I highly recommend looking into how a person really is before getting furious at how you perceive them to be online. Now you have no requirement to do that. If you want to shit on someone, if you want to, you know, be a slave to confirmation bias, then fucking go to it. If you heard one of your buddies say that someone's bad and then you see some guy hit a baby, you got no reason but to think, well, he must be a bad guy. But what you don't know is what if that baby had a nuclear bomb in it and if he didn't hit it, then the earth would have exploded, right? But you're not going to give him the benefit of the doubt. That's just how it goes. Another ridiculous fucking example. But things can seem any way that you want them to seem. And if you don't put in the effort into it, you can make anybody be bad. You can make anybody be good. But getting educated and actually learning how people actually are, well, that doesn't sound too fun now, does it? But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky slope for a lot of these lazy, dumb motherfuckers to actually figure this shit out. But uh, it is what it is. At the end of the day... Sip Sip Steven's not a bad guy. People just need to relax. And people need to be people need to be a lot less quick to fucking judge. And, and they need to stop trying to put everybody in a box because it's just going to get fucking annoying. But then again, if you keep doing it, then I get more videos. So that's also fucking great.